Okay, sphere is our last shape. So at the end of today, I'll be able to find the volume of a sphere when give, given either the radius or diameter. And we're also going to throw in surface there, surface area as well today. So we'll add surface area into that as well. And we'll get it all done today. Okay, so now the proof of the formulas I'm not going to do. You're welcome to Google that if you like. They're a little bit more involved, but a sphere is basically a ball. Okay, so to get the volume of a sphere, it is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Please note it is cubed because it is volume. You need to have three dimensions to get a volume. Uh, so we have our radius cubed in these questions. So we're going to jump right in and actually do something with it. Find the amount of empty space in the tennis ball container. The radius of a tennis ball is 3.4 centimeters. So if we looked at the volume of a tennis ball, we would have 4 thirds pi r cubed, and we're told that the radius is 3.4, and it is all cubed. So we will let our calculator do the heavy lifting here. So we will go 4 divided by 3 times pi, which is 1.34, times 3.4 all cubed. Please make sure you use cubed and not squared. And we should get a volume of the ball at 164 cubic centimeters. Now the question is asked for the empty space, so we have to do a little bit more work. We also need to find the volume of the cylinder. Okay, so now if you remember the volume of a cylinder, it's a circular prism. So we have pi r squared times the height, or the long direction. So now if I look at my sphere here, this is, come on, 3.4. So I know that the 3.4 is shared with the cylinder, uh, but what I can also do is these are also 3.4s, and we see that there are six of them. So that the height of this can is six times 3.4. Okay, so that's some hidden information I have to learn to look for. And so the height of this can is 20.4 centimeters. So when I go to solve this problem now, the volume of the cylinder, 3.14, the radius is 3.4 squared times the 20.4. And so I get a volume of the cylinder. Again, we'll let our calculator do all the heavy lifting. Times 20.4. Hopefully I can see the answer. There we are. 740 cubic centimeters is the volume of the cylinder, but it asked for the empty space. Okay, so the volume of the empty space would be the volume of the cylinder minus three times the volume of the ball. Okay, so we're using that same composite area. Now we're doing it with composite volume. Okay, so we have 740 as the cylinder, minus 3 times 164. So the amount of empty space would be 248 cubic centimeters would be the amount of empty space all inside these little spaces in here. Cool. Okay, so what is the volume of ice cream that can be fit inside and on top of the ice cream cone? So ice cream cones are generally a cone like this with a half sphere on top. So that's really important. So we have a height of 4.5 on the cone. We have a slant height of 6 centimeters. So I don't know how wide this cone is. So I'm immediately thinking Pythagorean theorem. So if I highlight that and then drag it down. I know a couple dimensions already. I know this is 4.5. I know this is 6. I'm going to call this R, and we're going to solve for that missing radius. Okay, so this is at 90 degrees. So I'm going to have R squared plus 4.5 squared equals 6 squared. So R squared equals 6 squared minus 4.5 squared. And again, you have to, you must, 
do the squarings first. So 6 squared minus 4.5 squared equals 15.75. Okay, and if I square root that, I get a radius of 3.96. So I'm going to just say that's 4 centimeters. So this radius here, I'm going to say is 4 centimeters just for the ease of calculation. Okay, so now if I want to do the volume here, the volume would be, the total volume would be the volume of the cone plus the volume of a half a sphere. Okay, and I always find it really, really helpful to write that, what I just wrote there down. It reminds me what I'm calculating. I'm just going to get rid of this Pythagorean theorem. We already know that that radius is 4. There she goes. Okay, so now let's go after the volume of the cone. Okay, is one third pi r squared h. So one third pi, the radius we said is four. The height of the cone is 4.5. And I'll find the volume of the cone. So now we have 3.14 times 16 times 4.5 divided by 3, 75 cubic centimeters. The volume of the half sphere. So I'm going to start with 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's the volume of a sphere. But because I'm saying this is half, I'm going to take that entire answer and divide it by 2. Okay, and that's as quick and easy way to deal with the formula. So now if we punch in the numbers, 4 divided by 3 times pi times, now I've got to be careful here, this is going to be a 4 cubed, 4 cubed, and then take that final answer and divide by 2, I get 134 cubic centimeters, which means my total volume would add those two together it's for a 209 cubic centimeters. Okay, so double check my calculations. It's late at night. I may have had a little boo boo in the calculations, but that's the process. Okay, Surf surface area of a sphere is given by this expression A equals 4 pi r squared. Okay, so that's our, and again, I'm not going to prove that. Uh, if you look on the formula sheet that was provided, or that you can get on the website, you'll notice we're looking at this guy right here. And again, all you have to know is how to use the formulas at this point in time. Okay, so if I wish to paint the outside of the golf dome, it's fallen down, so I can't do that now, but how much surface area do I have to paint? Okay, well, the full surface area would be 4 pi, r squared. But I don't want the full, I want half. So I'm going to take that value and divide it by 2. If I look at my diameter of the golf dome, it's 100 meters. That means my radius is 50 meters. And then it's just a matter of plugging everything into the expression. So this is half the area, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. I have my pi value and then my radius is 50 and if I square that 2 times 3.14 times 50 squared um, uh -oh, I, I better double check my calculations here my calculator is doing wonky things 2500 times that becomes 5000 times that yeah that looks about right okay and this would be in square meters Okay, so that would be painting the outside of the golf dome. Now, I'm not going to do the next question, but just for discussion purposes, I wish to paint all of the inside of the golf dome. Well, if we wanted to paint all of the inside, we would paint the shell we found, plus we would have to worry about painting the floor. Okay, and that's just little things you have to worry about in some questions. Okay, so there's your homework. Have a quick look, and thanks for tuning in.